Good morning everyone, hope you're having a fantastic Sunday and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Before we dive forward, I have to quickly say this objective is actually phenomenal. This is a really good objective. Uh, this is a card, 92 rated, he's got high, high work rates in game and very, very good in-game stats. And it seems pretty easy to do. You need to score uh, the outside of the box goal uh, in two separate rival matches using midfielders within 80 shooting. I don't think it's too difficult. Try and use finesse shots. Finesse shots are really easy to score from outside the box in comparison to normal shots. So a finesse shot is your best friend there. Assist in any three separate rival matches using Austrian players. Again, not too difficult. The Leipzig link, this one is a little bit... Uh, tedious, but not, not the worst in the world. Assist with a three ball in four separate rival matches, so you have to do it in four separate games. And then score and assist in eight separate rival wins using Bundesliga players with min four star weak foot. Again, you can probably do it pretty easily in my opinion. Now, he only has three star skills, but four star weak foot in my opinion as a centre mid in a 4-4-2 or a 4-1-2-1-2. Um, even as a CDM, as a more attacking style CDM, this card looks pretty fantastic. He's five foot ten, like I said, high, high work rates. Looks really good for a free card. And at the very worst, for maybe like 12 or 13 games of your time during midweek, it's a 92 rated card for a potential SBC. I'm also a big fan of this Axel Witzel SBC card they released, the Flashback. It's a four-star, four-star, medium-high CDM card with really nice stats in game as well. If you're running a Bundesliga or Belgian setup, this CDM card will fit really well into your team for only 130,000 coins. It's actually a really good SBC, so I'm pretty happy with the midfielder choices that EA's released so far for the Bundesliga uh, objective and... Uh, SBCs, and I guess we'll see pushing forward what else we get. However, you're not here for me to talk about what's actually been released into the game. You're here to talk about your teams. Now, if you're new to the series, how to get involved is sending me a screenshot or two, depending on what you play in game, to the hashtag it's Haber, not the at on it's Haber, but the hashtag. The hashtag is searchable on Twitter, which makes it a lot easier for me to find it. Give me a brief description of your team, and if you don't want me to give you improvements, then just ask me to rate your team if you're just looking to either flex your team or you just want me to have a look at it on the video. Feel free to just say, hey, can you give me a rating as opposed to ask for a improvements and I'll literally just give you a rating on the team. So starting off with Ollie's team, it says, hi Haber, I've got no coins at the minute, but the untradables are Kimmich, Rijkaard, Brandt and Cruz. The first picture is what I play in game and, and I love the vid and streams. Uh, keep it the good work. Hey, I appreciate it, dude. So you're starting in a 4-2-3-1, then in game you are playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you said that your untradables here are uh, Kimmich. Wait, you said Kimmich, but where is Kimmich? Um... Did you say Kimmich? Am I am I being silly? The Intradables are Kimmich, Rykard, Brandt. Am I... Where is Kimmich? I think he might meant to say Kara or DaCosta there. Anyway, uh, regardless, this is a nice looking team to be fair. Um, I like the midfield uh, duo you've got there of Thiago and uh, and Cruz. They're both really good. In my opinion, the next upgrade you need to make here is definitely Rykard. I don't see a prime icon anywhere, so if you've not done any of your icon swaps, I mean, the moment's Gattuso for six tokens, in my opinion, or seven tokens, is is better value than than having the Rykard. Um, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Gattuso in this game, but I think he's better than that Rykard card and would play really well as a holding CDM in this team. Regardless, though, I think this is a really nice team. Obviously, you haven't got really the coins at the minute to work on, but in the near future, um, players I would look to improve, definitely improve your defense. Your Sule needs to be improved um, for sure. The only downside with the Bundesliga team of the season, I've got it up here, we didn't get a whole host of amazing defensive options, in my opinion. Uh, Upper Mencano is a phenomenal centre-back. Hummels, in my opinion, it's not bad, but I don't think he's quick enough for the centre-back options now. Now we've got team of season attackers in most teams. You need someone with a lot of pace. Um, I don't think that uh, Ginter and Hinteregger are, are also the best options. Um, however, I know we, we've obviously got... Uh, was it Konate we got? Um, it was Mukiel. I get them all mixed up. I know we got Mukiel, who's a perfect link to Upper Mencano. So you can maybe save up and work on getting the Upper Mencano and Mukiel perfect link in the back and uh, replacing your goalkeeper, the French goalkeeper. That might work pretty well. Um, however, no, the team is nice. I like I like the setup a lot, and I think that Brandt card is really really good as a central cam as well. Uh, so that's a solid team, mate. Next one coming from Barney, who says, uh, first team is my, uh, sorry, first is my team, second is in-game. Uh, I've got 350,000 coins. I can save. I need a right wing and a ram um, and a left back for my team. Excuse me. Um, I'm happy to for any of the suggestions for upgrades. Everyone's untradable except for Neymar and Ben Yedda. Then a mid icon pack and I got Trezegate. <laughs> Love the vids. Hey, I appreciate the support, man. I'm sorry about the Trezegate, bro. I mean, I feel really bad. I've had some of the most ridiculous mid icon pack look recently. It's been ridiculous. Um, I feel really bad for everyone else that doesn't get the same level of luck as me because I have been 
extremely lucky. Um, not to flex, but absolutely to flex. We hit a Blanc and a Cruyff yesterday. You guys can't really see Cruyff because my massive face cam is blocking it. But we got a Cruyff yesterday. We've had a mid hullet later on. Uh, sorry, earlier on in the week slash uh, last week. We've had obviously Pele's, Ronaldinho, stuff like that. I've been very lucky. I just wanted to flex it a little bit. Now, for this team, in terms of left back, I think looking at an Alex Tellers card wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. You could start chipping away at the moment Alexandro SBC. That would also not be a bad shout. The right mid spot is very difficult. I see you've got the, the 86 Dan James on the bench. It would help with chemistry if you used that 86 Dan James there. Now, something you could also go for, in my opinion, I was looking at this Bernardo Silva because I didn't realize it, it had it expired or not. And unfortunately, it had expired. You could work towards a level 30 Pedro. Um, and then switch Bruno and Kovacic to start so that Ko Kovacic gets the Pedro link here uh, to get full chemistry. This card, in my opinion, actually looks really, really good. Four star, five star, fantastic uh, dribbling, good pace, um, decent shooting as well. Uh, good composure, good stamina. Uh, looks like a really, really solid card. So this could be a card you could work towards in the level 30 season objectives um, and, uh, and play getting Kovacic on full chemistry. That could be a shout. You could also swap them over and put Willian at right mid and then just sub somebody on also that could work but if you're going to do that you might as well start dan james at right minute some someone on as well um now if you're not bothered about chemistry and you don't mind bruno being on eight chemistry there's a whole host of different premier league right sided players you can go with as well you could go with the likes of a special mohammed salah card or a normal mohammed salah card both are decent the only problem with mohammed salah is a three-star week for however it I, I personally am not the the biggest hater on three star weak foots now another person can go with this adama card it's not the worst card in the world you could go with this card as well I know that a lot of people think having a three-star weak foot makes a player unusable, and I totally get that. In my opinion, whilst it doesn't help, I think that if you are good enough with skills, you can overcome a three-star weak foot, especially as he's only a ram or a lamb. Uh, I think it won't make the biggest difference in the world, but that's just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and how you feel about it. But the rest of the team is nice, though. Uh, the red May United players are making me a little bit jealous. That is... um. That's a very nice selection of Red United you know, players. I'm a little bit jealous about that. Um, but I'd say it's definitely a solid, solid team. Going with Barra's team now. He says, uh, this is how I start and the second is in game. I've got 200k for upgrades and everything's untradeable. Love the vids and the streams. Hey, appreciate it, man. Let's check it out. Oof. It's a nice team. Very interesting, actually. Um, what to say with this team? So, in my opinion, Moments Puyo is not the world's best. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that card, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm just... I don't know what, what it is about that card. I'm just... It doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. Now, I, I know that Allison isn't tradable. You could potentially take out Allison for a normal to Stegen, who I think is just as good, if not better. Normal to Stegen this year is just ridiculous. Um, and then you could go on the right center back spot with the likes of a team of the season, PK, for example. That could work. You could go with the likes. You could save up for the likes of a Ramos, um, or you could save up for a, a Diego Carlos and play Bellerin on 8 chem. Um, regardless though, I think this team is definitely solid. Uh, I like, I like how it plays. I'm not entirely sure about, uh, Sadorf, the baby version as a CDM. Uh, in my opinion, this card is more of a box to box midfielder as opposed to a CDM. Only 71 defending, um, in my opinion, makes this card a little bit unfortunate as a CDM. I think you could potentially work towards getting a better card for that right CDM spot as time goes by. You never know. Uh, we could get ourselves a decent, uh, SBC apparently, and I don't know this for sure, and I don't know if it's certain, and, and this could be completely wrong, I've seen leaks that Icon, Prime Icon SBCs are returning. Now, that wouldn't make any sense to me, and I don't think I'd be happy about that, but if that's the case, that could be some SBCs that people could start chipping away at. Um, now, that's come from leakers on Twitter and stuff like that, and I don't know how reliable that information is, but I guess we'll see as time goes by if we do get... Prime Icon SBCs, and I, honestly, I don't know how I'd feel about it. I don't think I'd be the happiest in the world. Um, the next team coming from Leo, who says, Hey, hey, but how are you? Icons and Richarlison are untradeable. I've got 100,000 coins. I'm thinking of replacing Cannavaro and Bustos with Militao and Carver Howe. What would you suggest I work towards? Have a great day. Keep it up. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Hope you have a great day as well. Um, this is a really nice team. Wow, Red De Young as well. That's nice. I was really uh, unfortunate. I was lucky enough to get four player picks this weekend. Um, obviously EA messed up player picks. I was I was very lucky and fortunate to get four player picks as opposed to two from gold one. 
Didn't get anything from player picks. I got Gerard Moreno, two old blacks, and a Testagan, uh, which was really unfortunate. But I took a second old black for the fodder value. Um, this team looks good, though. I like the look of this team a lot, actually. I think the shape looks really good. Um, I think that you play the players you've got in each position is really good. I'd give it a high rating. I'd give this team a, a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. I think that improvements-wise, you can improve on your right back. I'm not a biggest fan of Bustos. Um, I think you could definitely improve on Soyuncu at some point eventually. Um, you asked me... Uh, Thinking about replacing Cannavaro and Bustos with Militao and Carvajal. I think Militao is a big yes. Get Militao. I don't think you should replace Cannavaro here. I think you play Cannavaro left centre-back. You get Militao right centre-back. And then you get maybe a headliner Semedo at right back. Now, in terms of Carvajal's price, his team of the season price, in comparison to a headliner Semedo, this card is 330k. Now, if we look at headliner Semedo, he is currently 270k. The reason why I say this card is better is better, in my opinion, off the ball. It's got a better body type in game. I think Carvajal is a little bit sluggish sometimes. I actually use him in my main team. Um, the four-star skills, in my opinion, makes a difference as well. Um, however, Carvajal does have his benefits. Carvajal is a very good tackler. Um, he's very physical as well. Uh, it depends, I think, sort of how you enjoy your right backs. I think Carvajal's high high works well as well. I guess it's how you enjoy them. Uh, I think Carvajal's a little bit clunky. But that's just my personal opinion. Regardless, I think if you're going to replace a centre-back here, I would replace Soyuncu over Cannavaro any day of the week. Um, but the rest of the team, I think, is really good. I think you've got a really good shape and a really good uh, a really good team here for sure. Um, next one coming from Connor. Hi, Haber. UT, uh, sorry, untradables are Icons, SBC Cars, and Fernandez. I've got 400k for a centre-back, but I can save any other improvements. Let's check it out. Hmm. In my opinion, complete the Adair Militao card. It's 500k. So you're going to have to save a little bit of coinage. Um, you might have to be a little bit uh, efficient, I think. You might have to be a bit frugal with a few coins here and there. You might have to go through the club and sell some of those consumables you've been hoarding. Um, but I would say get yourself the new Ed Militao SBC card. It is phenomenal for me. He fights for the badge tooth and nail. He's just incredible. Big fan of it and I think would work perfectly in this setup. Um, the rest of the team looks really, really nice. I'm a big fan of this this team as well. Um, let me know how that Vitzel plays in game. I could, the thing is with my team, we're going back to my team. I know I'm not trying to flex or anything like that genuinely this time, but going back to my team, what I could do is I could play Vitzel at right cam for a game or two and play team of the season Sancho at right mid. It means Kante gets benched, which would be painful, but maybe worth it. If that Vitzel is good enough, I might consider doing that uh, to get that team of the season Sancho in the get in a team on full chemistry as well. That's what I'm thinking of. Let me know down in the comments down below whether you think that's a good idea or not. Um, but yeah. The next one coming from Foot Trader, who says, uh, Love the vids, bro. Got 800k. And Neymar is the only tradable. Any improvements or ideas are very welcome. All right, let's check it out, bro. Um, interesting. Well, what I would say first off, you might as well play Ramos at centre-back. Like, I'm guessing you play him there in game, right? Yeah, you play. You might as well just start Ramos at centre-back. At least then if someone tries doing the kickoff boost goal against you, you've got Ramos at centre-back to help you out. The rest of this team, though, is really, really nice. Um, I respect the Trent at centre-mid. I think that'll play really, really well. Vardy at right mid is interesting. I, a lot of people have been playing 4-4-2s this year, and they've been playing their right mids and left mids with really, really uh, aggressive um free roam sort of uh tactics to make it so they don't even feel like a left mid of right mid so i'm guessing that's what you're doing here um but yeah this team is really really good i like this team a lot i'm a big fan of this team i'll be honest with you i wouldn't really change anything in this team um i think this team works really well obviously we just wait and see what we get in terms of, of players and stuff you never know uh you might get for example um, you might pack a team of the season Sancho and then you might be encouraged to go uh, Sancho and Vitzel like I was talking about earlier um, and then Vitzel plays as a centre mid for you and Sancho is the right mid that might work. Um, you might pack yourself a team of season Haaland or something. You know, we'll see what happens with rewards. Uh, clearly, you play a lot of foot champions. So um, I guess with rewards, we'll see how the team changes. But I think right now, yeah, I think keep it as is. It seems to be working for you, and it looks like a really, really good team. I'm excited to play more with that Cruyff. I've only played uh, two games with them so far, so I'm excited to try out a little bit more uh, with Cruyff. The next one coming from Matt, who says, Second is in-game. Moments Keen is the only trader. Well, got 50,000 coins liquid, and I'm open to any opinions. Keep it the good work. Hey, appreciate it, Matt. Let's check it out. Dude, Moments Keen, I respect it, man. I respect it. Brooksy loves that card. Um, What would I say about this team? Can you upgrade the screen PK to the team of the season? Um, you got 50k liquid, right? Okay. I would say save up coins to upgrade the screen PK to the team of the season. And then, like I said, rewards, sort of see what happens. I see you've got 
flashback Diego uh, Diego Costa. I'm not going to say change it because if you're still using flashback Diego Costa at this point in the game, clearly you're enjoying the card. I see you've got Mariano on the bench. You know, um, you would be using him if you if you really didn't like Costa. So I'm not going to recommend changing him. Um, but yeah, I would just say uh, try and upgrade that screen PK, to be honest. The next team comes from Junior, who says the untrainable was our Carver How, Eddie Militao, Hernandez, Gattuso, and Fred. I've got 100,000 coins and I played this in game. Interesting. This is actually a really cool team. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'd, I'd change anything this team. Um, obviously, try and improve players, for example. I mean, you know, you could get rid of De Bruyne and go with a winter refresh Bruno Fernandes. That could work pretty well, or an informed Bruno Fernandes, whichever one you prefer. Um, that would get the links uh, to the United players. I think that's definitely worth, you know, moving towards in the future. Um, and, you know, my United player as well. Um, I would also say... Maybe try and get Ed Emelitao on full chemistry here as well. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I'm trying to think how you can do this without... I mean, someone's got to play off chemistry. Maybe Ed Emelitao just takes the hit, to be honest. Um, someone is inevitably going to be playing off chemistry. Um, and obviously, you don't have the link to your left back. So, yeah, I guess I guess play Ed Emelitao off chem and just keep Neuer. Uh, but, yeah, I would say try and up that De Bruyne to uh, winter refresh uh, Bruno Fernandes. Whilst I think De Bruyne is very good in this game, and obviously this team of the season is phenomenal. No flex there. Uh, I think that that getting the full cam there might be a decent shout. But apart from that, the team is really, really nice. It's well built as well. I like it a lot. Next one coming from Dylan. says 300k. Uh, all untradeable. Love the vids. Thanks very much, Dylan. I appreciate it, dude. Wow. This guy. Wow. This guy's got a mid sedan and a mid hullet. Now, I know that. See, so so when I when I say wow, is because I have done about 50 to 60 mid icon upgrades, which is why, obviously, um, I've got as many amazing mid icons. I highly doubt that you guys that have these amazing icons have done anywhere close, not even, I'd say 10% of the amount of mid icons I've done. So I always find it amazing when you guys have got phenomenal mid icons and, and you've not done anywhere near as many as I have. Um, that's, you know, incredible. So, I mean, GG on the amazing mid icon look. Uh, looking at the team, to be honest, I would not really change anything about this team. I would say eventually save up to get an icon center back over Shaw. Maybe you work towards a Canavaro because it will add some dynamic to the uh, back line. Um, I see you've got Zakari who's very tall. Um, having a smaller, quicker center back would be a really good dynamic for the, for the dynamic duo. Um, I would say... The rest of the team, though, looks absolutely phenomenal. I like the team a lot, and I think it's well built, mate. I think it's very well built. I'll give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I would say just try and upgrade your Roberto Carlos. We Maybe you get a team of season Alfonso Davies, or you save up to get a team of season Alfonso Davies. Maybe maybe if you're lucky, hit him in rewards or something um, to replace for uh, Roberto Carlos. And then, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, in, in, in the future at some point, maybe replacing Blanc with a Vieira, but... This team is really well built and I like it a lot. I'm going to end it off with Matt's team. Um, we've already checked out Matt's team, sorry. So we're going to end it off with, unfortunately, the, I can't see these ones because they're, they're taken in, uh, in in landscape mode, which is the same as why I've... Oh, I guess this one's actually pretty HD. Um, we'll check this one out. The last one is Jesper's team. He says, goalkeeper, centre-backs, Kante and Ben Yedda are tradable. I've got 100,000 coins and a lot of SBC fodder. I want to keep my goalkeeper, but I'm down for any other changes. 4-2-3-1 in game. Loudrup as central cam, Ben Yedda striker. Let's check it out, mate. Hmm. I would say... Start chipping away at Ed Emelitao for sure. Um, who knows, in like a few weeks or a month or two, you might have the card. Um, and that will definitely be a big upgrade on the team. I would say... Um, what else would I say with this team? Hmm. Looking at the team, I think that Ben Yedder is, is meta. Bakayoko is meta. Kante is meta. Uh, Rashford's meta. Politano is very good. Um, maybe for Bundesliga team of the season rewards, if you're playing weekend league, uh, you see what you get in rewards to upgrade the team elsewhere. But I would hold tight with this team, to be honest, because, yeah, I would just say chip away at Emelitao, try and get the upgrade on that version, um, and then sit tight until you see what you get in terms of rewards or upgrade packs and stuff before you make any other drastic changes to the team, because I think the team is, is, is great, but it's very temperamental with chemistry, so... You know, you, you, there's a hardly any players you can really say that are going to fit in the team without drastically changing chemistry. You know, maybe if you end up saving up enough coins, you can get a foot birthday, St. Maximin at right mid, but that's one of the half million coins, you know, so it's it's hardly a massive uh, a massive uh, goal to set, really, because um, it's going to be so difficult to save up one and a half million coins liquid. Anyway, but that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, enjoying, and liking the episodes. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys send in your teams for next week's 
Join the Discord if you haven't already. Link in the description to the Discord where we will be um, posting when we record the episodes and stuff like that so you can be involved. Thank you for watching and I'll see you lads later.